Smith right here. Oh, no. I want to talk about uh, King King Richard. King Richard, yeah. Uh, 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 you're amazing in this movie, and you're getting uh, a lot of good buzz on this. Congrats, well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but this is it's not the first time you you're playing a real person. Yeah. Is that extra pressure because? It, it is terrifying when you play a real person that is still alive and you know that they're going to see, see it, it, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was beautiful. Ven Venus and Serena were, were really excited about the, the possibility, and they said that, you know, they would potentially be executive producers and they would walk us through the whole process, but they were going to withhold whether or not they put their names on the film until they saw it. So then I get the call that Venus and Serena are walking into the theater to see the film. And it's You're like, the, it's the worst two hours ever. <laughs> You're like, it's the worst please, two like, hours. please think I did You know, because you spend so much time creating these things. And there's literally only one audience when you do. I did it with, uh, you know, with uh, Muhammad Ali yep. and then with uh, Pursuit of Happiness and Concussion with people that were all alive. Yes. Um, and it's just... There's, that's, it's the only audience, and you just hope to God that you know you've spent a year to tell this Doing story, right thing. and you hope that they they like it. And Venus and Serena cried all the way through, and they loved, loved it. it. Yeah. And one they, point, I, I, I heard that uh, they 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 thought like it looked and sounded just like their dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they were like, "This is creepy. This, this is like is this, like, yeah. this is like real. It's like freaking me out. Like this is not real. It's a movie." Yeah. What what, what was really interesting to me is that, you know, we all feel like we have a picture of Richard Williams, and it's the classic overbearing father hammering his children. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in sitting with uh, Venus and Serena and their, their sisters and their, their mother, it was, it was completely the opposite. He, he was a, 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 a loving, caring, doting father. And Venus, Venus referred to it as the Jedi mind trick, that he had somehow made it so they would have to ask him, please, Daddy, can we play tennis? Their, their punishment would be that they couldn't play tennis yeah. when, they, when they got in trouble. And it was, you know, he aligned with what they wanted for themselves more than demanding what he wanted for them. Yeah. And it was a real lesson for me as a parent, you know, recognizing what that want. you want to be in alignment with your kids versus forcing and pushing and telling demanding, them do, telling yeah. them what to do. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a beautiful family story. It, it, it was beautiful. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Will Smith in King Richard. Take a look at this. I'm very confident. You say it so easily. Why? Because I believe it. But you haven't played a match in almost three years. All right, uh, hold, hold it right there, if you don't mind. Let me tell you who I am. Richard, we're doing an interview. What, what she had said, she said it was so much confidence to face time, but you keep going on and on. But you can't just keep interrupting if we well, What you got to understand is you're dealing with the image of a 14-year-old child. And this child gonna be playing when your old ass and me gonna be in the grave. When she had said something, we done told you what's happening. You are dealing with a little black kid. Let her be a kid. Now, she done answered it with a lot of confidence. Leave that alone. Whoa. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. Will Smith, everybody. King Richards in theaters and streaming on HBO Max starting next Friday. And his book, Will, is available now. Hey, hey.